internet, I am Tormazimnus, and welcome to this week's episode of Genlock. This is my reaction for it, recorded on February 23rd, getting uploaded, I think, March 2nd, since that's where the 30th would normally occupy the spot, but February is normally only 28 days, so, eh. But anyway, this is titled, The Only Me I Know. And I took a quick look at the brief description for the episode, and it looks like we're going to be looking into Doc's past. So this may reveal whether or not he had any ties to the Union before, or if the Union approached him about his research back when he maybe might have been an independent contractor. Not even an independent contractor, an independent scientist who all he wanted to do was make the world a better place through his research. And there are there are so many things that come to mind when I'm seeing this. Will this also give us an idea as to how Nemesis came it to be created? Is Nemesis at all involved with the early years of the Genlock project? Was it like... Uh, I want to say patient, but that's not the right word. Was it like a candidate zero, in a way? Like before Chase came along? Or was that supposed to be his original mech? Or is the Chase we see the copy of the original Chase's mental data in what's left of Chase's body after the original Chase was uploaded to Nemesis after being turned to the Union side. So many questions, absolutely zero answers, until they come out, which I'm hoping some of them will in this one. So, let's begin this episode of Genlock now. Also, for your listening pleasure, or rather, for your viewing pleasure, I have turned on the closed captions because they're actually available now at the time I'm recording this. I don't know if I started just like a little too soon last time, but um, you know, closed caption wasn't available for the last episode. It's available for this episode now, so I'm hoping that it is keeping pace with the actual, you know, when things are being said, instead of getting too far ahead or too far behind, which thus far, it seems to be, thank goodness for that. You show them where they belong, tear right through them, tear right through them all. We pretend in the darkness, we pretend the night won't steal our you. Singing me the sweet songs of seduction. Let me be the fool, fool, fool who will live and die for you. We pretend in the darkness. We pretend the night won't steal our you. Singing me the sweet songs of seduction. Let me be the fool, fool, fool who will live and die for you. For you! Ha <laughs> ha! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! What is Doc's past? I seriously want to know! Mm. Okay, so they're returning from their most recent sortie is the this initial impression I'm getting. Help us. Now we gotta fight it? There we go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how it feels where Nemesis is concerned. Would now be a good time to try one of those opening lines? <laughs> opening lines. Yeah, probably not, no. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, it's slagging behind up, a little bit. I wanted to check in. How many of you are there? I'm um, the only what? me I know. Only <laughs> the only the you. That talked like you with your moves. Showed up out of nowhere, just like only you. I yeah, you, seriously, that so. is kind of a problem. So, I mean, there's there's a I'll lot of suspicion going on right now. How am I supposed to know what now? we are if I don't even know what you are? Miranda. If oh, that thing that's that harsh. Us is also you, then which one of you is my chase? Both? Oh. Neither? Or did my chase die four years ago? Ooh. I can see where she's going with that. And that is... 
That is at once seriously messed up, but also a valid concern. Ooh. And the fact that he didn't have an answer to that? I'm not sure if it's one of those things that he can't have an answer okay? to because he doesn't. The whole time. Or what if he's been if lying to he's us the whole time? You and just, I owe Dr. Weller mm. much. The benefit of the doubt at the very least. Okay, but what Able. is past? Location of Dr. Weller. Dr. Weller is on the east observation deck. Yeah, clearly Yaz's view isn't enough for Chase. I think he's about to go get some answers. Kami is such a precious soul. Where are they taking them? Debrief, presumably. Then, wherever home is for them. Hey, hmm? GL. Wherever home is for them? Seriously? We're gonna do a review. Dissect your mission performance. You're relentless. <laughs> what, do you want a party? Hmm. Is that how the world works? You finish a mission Ooh. and someone hangs a banner with your names on it, throws a little confetti. Oh boy, here we go. Just being North Common in an hour. Oof. I'm sensing a bit of tension right now. Okay, looks like Weller and Chase are about you to have a one, 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 one on one time. Only every day since New York. <laughs> Red versus blue reference! Let's go! Pardon? To transfer back to the Vanguard. And why you started crunching on the new toys. <laughs> Both of you knew what this thing might be, and neither one of you told us what was up. Better not to raise alarm until we knew for certain. Better for That's who? one way of looking at it. It's GL Tech, isn't it? Yes. At its core is likely one of our brains. Okay, really so that's confirmed. Who's running on it, Doc? There is a very good chance that it is you in there, Julian. Another okay, him how? Of you. Another instance. Your nemesis. You said whoa, you couldn't whoa, make copies. Whoa. I said I wasn't making copies. I never said I couldn't. Oh, I shit! We started backing you up the instant the Genlock initiative began. Oh, no. The Union got their hands on a copy of Chase! Or they got their hands on the original and turned him to the Union side, the and they're working with a copy of Chase! Genlock compatible, you were designated one of the most valuable members of the Vanguard. Of the entire polity. Oh, my God. They detected gosh. your SNR beacon. You provided a much needed glimmer of hope after such a terrible day. Even though he was so badly injured. <laughs> so they made sure to get him before he completely died so that he could help to light the way towards a better future, right? You clung to life with ferocity. And you took the mm. deal. Worked in secret while we got Genlock up and running. Okay, so it looks like it was Vanguard only the whole time. No Union collaboration. Okay, so that gets one possible... Uh, one possible problem out of the way, I think. Okay. So it's showing the progress of the program over the years. As well as one of the first brain boxes. At least I think that's one of the first brain boxes. That's my guess. Huh. You learned how to run? Yep, brain box. And then it was time to learn how to walk. Did he have trouble managing with his haul on the first time around, or...? At the beginning, we had precisely nice. two of the brains. Two? Every okay, so he did make a copy. To one, we shunted a copy to the other. Uh, we were ready for missions much that's a problem. than anticipated. Yeah, and that's when we got some of the early looks at him and his unit. Your successes were incredibly encouraging. I bet they were. The colonel's interest in Genlock reached a fever pitch. <laughs> yeah, I As wonder why. The unions. Ah, uh, yeah, the union. It went to hell. Yeah, I imagine it did threw everything they had into capturing him. <laughs> Did they manage it? Oh no. 
what if the very first Talon unit Beam became the Nemesis yeah. unit? Oh, no. That's why he said kill copy. This chase is a copy. We had your mind. A copy of it, anyhow. Oh, shit. We restored your oh, backup. Oh, no. Made you whole again. The practice of copying ended, and the Genlock program continued. That's why his Halon looks so he different. The mission was scrubbed. That we'd had a malfunction, and the system was offline for a couple of hours before we could restore you. You lied. Yes, he did. Yes. I lied. Oh shit. All crews, defensive battle stations. All crews, defensive battle That's stations. why the Halon in the trailers looks so different from his current Halon. It's because the original Halon became Nemesis! Chase, you have to know I Oh shit! This is not good! Oh my gosh. This whole time I thought it was some Union allied Genlock compatible person, but it was the original Adrian Chase the whole time! What happened to him in the intervening time period? What did they do to him? Is he brainwashed? Did he turn Union? What's going on? Continue deploying defenses. Oh my gosh. Ma'am, the code is Lieutenant Chase's. Don't answer it! Don't answer it! No! No, 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 no! Don't listen to it! Don't listen to it! Run away! Hello. Goodbye. Who am I addressing? Who would you like it to be? Oh, oh shit. What did they do to you? That's what I would like to know! Why do I hear new voices in my head? Status of the hammer system. Stage three test fire can be available in approximately ten minutes. Proceed. <coughs> oh, have to know we tried to find you. You lost your chance, chances, and now there's no choice. Kill the copy. There is always a choice. Whatever they've said to you, done to you. Kill the copy. Julian, please return to us, and I promise you, I will do everything in my power to help you. You can't, can't fix me. Oh, no. the union. Julian, they cannot promise you a return to your body. It will not work that way. But maybe we can find an alternative. What? Out. Hello. Chase! Want out. I think he's trying to say that he wants out of the nemesis body. Shit. Shit, shit, shit! Oh my gosh. Um, is the anvil gonna fall? Because it's kind of starting to look like it! Doctor? Look! Yeah, of course he's not there. Into the pods, now! Oh, shit. Two chases. Get ready to run. Miranda, you copy that? Miranda. Miranda! Yeah, let's go. Get down! Watch your head! Oh, man. Uh, lower. Okay, there you go. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit! Oh, look out, little dear guy. <laughs> that is not the place you want to be right now. Shit. So. Oh my gosh. Two chases. The original and a copy. And the original was taken by the Union. What if the Union makes more copies of the original Chase in order to fuel their own Genlock units? Oh no! 
What if it's actually copy versus copy? And the original Chase is long since dead! Well, the mind of the original Chase, the original body is still there, but... Oh my gosh! Oh boy! I wonder if the Genlock team will even have enough uptime to chew through all of those, or if they'll end up running out and having to launch a full retreat. I had wondered why, and now I know. Oh, shit. I think the Nemesis unit still has the brain box on auto-update every time it comes in close proximity with Chase. And it might have been modified to read the minds of the other Genlock capable combatant... Combat... Genlock combatable members. In order to... Turn Nemesis into a more capable fighting machine. Damn, Kazu is in trouble. Oh, hey, so they're doing it with those two now. Shall we dance? Oh, hello! <laughs> oh my gosh! Digital dancing through the battlefield! Let's go! Holy shit! Oh, this is amazing! Woohoo! What a ride! <laughs> this is so cool! Oh my gosh, this is so cool! Chase, we should try to fight him together. What's stopping you? No, I mean really together. Let's not do this now. Uh, yes, let's do this now. Come on! Damn, the rest of the team's opening up. What's... Why is Chase... <sighs> I mean, okay, yeah, I get it. He's going through some stuff right now, but this is not the time for that. Intruder alert. Exterior breaches on levels... Two ah, through shit. Security, repel the intruders. Seal all glass doors. The anvil's been invaded. Shit's getting real. Okay, so now that they know where the anvil is at, they're going to have to fall back to a secondary location. <coughs> I wonder if they're heading for Chase's body. I feel like that would be a primary objective. That and the other Genlock candidates. We shouldn't be above yep, much longer. That I'd figures. Like to request an extended use of one of your transports. Understood. Let us know when you're on the move. Extended General use team. of a Get transport. Get your holons back to your transport and prepare for download. What? We're nowhere near uptime. Your answer is do you hear? Don't know that. Good enough to walk up to some. No, your bodies are in danger. Our enemies in the base. Your bodies are in danger. Move, move, move! He does mean you. Your body is going to be taken with you. Or do you mean to be permanently uplinked to your Halon? That's going to completely abandon your body and get rid of any point of trying to repair it. Don't you understand that, Chase? Get out! Oh, yep, drone's there. And, yep, there it goes. Why do I get the feeling that pot is about to be uh, hacked and taken control secure. of? We are loaded up. What the hell's happening? No time. They're coming for you. Get ready to run. Kazu, that seems more like get ready to fight. Valentina energy rifle there. Holy crap. Doctor? Time to fly again, little bird. Look after your teammates. 
You are coming with us. I'll join you when I can. Taliban. When he can. can what are you talking side. about? Omega protocols apply. Acknowledge. Omega protocols. What? And yeah, his body is getting moved. Are you fucking kidding me? You'll hey! Me once you're away. <laughs> he is not going to be leaving his guitar behind. That is basically a part of him at this point. Holy shit, Julian. Holy shit, Rufus Weller, what are you doing? Oh, oh, that's just great. You back away from the lift now. You won't be following them. Oh, shit. You're here for the Genlock technology? You can't have my kids, but I have something new right here. It's a bomb. Take it with my compliments. Did he just kill himself? He just killed himself. No. Are you kidding me? It's not even the end of the first season! Close enough. We can cut over to the central lift. Omega protocols apply. Cammy, how many? Does that mean that there is like a smaller brain box within that guy that holds Rufus Weller within it? Or is this something else? Holy shit. Oh, that's what useful. What just happened? I used MR to hide the door. I didn't know if it would work on their system, but... Oh, no. Yeah. Wait, hang on. I want to take that back for a minute. Congrats, Genlock call sign ceremony. Valentina as Wraith, Yaz as Huma, Chase as Chaser, nice. Kami as Trix, and Kazu as Shogun. Ha! <laughs> Shogun! Nice! Yeah, that would have been great, actually. We'll thank them if we get through this. Here we go! Yeah. At least now they know what their call signs are, so that's cool. Oh man, though. <laughs> Chase gets it to be a battery ram! <laughs> Punch! Hey! Kazu gets to do his thing! Which is brawling everyone into submission! Kami! Go! <laughs> Distraction technique successful! Oh, here we go! Snipe! Snipe! <laughs> Look out! Oof. Showing her assassination skills. Forward force is taking heavy losses. Multiple security breaches throughout the base. Ma'am, reports of an explosion from upper computer core. Yeah. Abel, hammer status. Working. Please stand by. Hammer, huh? I wonder what the hammer is. Ah, the anvil and the hammer. I get the reference. What are you doing back here? Migos, we need a lift to our transport. You're all in danger if we stay. Yeah, they're here for the Genlock people, Bonus. not the Vanguard people. They specifically want all of the Genlock stuff. Technology, candidates, everyone. They want more like Chase, more like Nemesis. Hey, Kazu's about to be a one-man wrecking crew, I think. Oh no, he's just lifting the body. Ah, shit. Yeah, here we go. That figures. Yep, now that you get pegged. Now you get pegged in with help from the uh, old assault team. <laughs> well, thank goodness for that much, but oh crap! That was not great. Okay, they're just about Thank to you. transport. And once they're in the transport, they're going to fly out of there. Uh, 
Dr. Weller lying again saying he's going to catch up when he can. But he's probably dead now unless he had some tight-fitting force can field around him to protect him from the bomb. Ha! <laughs> can she fly it? For a union pilot, you're not bad. What do you mean for a union pilot? <laughs> Chase. Oh. I was gonna tell Chase to get going, but um, that thing. Oh, great. You know, I still want to know what that thing's called. It kind of looks like a giant shellfish. And reminds me of a mechanized tentacruel from uh, from the original season of Pokemon. Hello! Oh, just barely made it. Okay, cool. Back to action. Is the hammer ready? Ah, the hammer is ready! The Admiral's about to bring the hammer! Man, this episode in and of itself already feels like a season finale. If they go this big before the season finale, I wonder what the season finale in two weeks is going to be like. Unless they shorten the first season from eight episodes down to six episodes. But I'm not really sure about that. I mean, usually... When the people of Rooster Teeth say so many episodes, it's usually generally what they stick by, I think. Oh, oh shit. Well, mechs fall, everyone dies. No, no. Yep, the anvil has fallen. It was a carrier mech. And now, now they are the only the surviving creatures. Come in. Tempest, chase it. Please, come in. Yeah, no. Chase, we need They're all you. dead. And he has to go and follow the other guys because, really? They're the only ones left. So if there's no more Anvil, what does that mean for the Vanguard? Is the Vanguard gone? Or are there other bases like that? Okay, and so does he try to board the ship while it's flying, or do they land somewhere just quick enough for him to download back to his body? And that's where they leave it hanging. Weller is most likely dead. Everyone else in the anvil, also dead. Any genlock tech that might have still been there, probably gone. Only the genlock team remain. Holy crap, dude. That is some serious stuff. Whoops. <laughs> I hit the wrong thing. My bad. Technical difficulties. Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> it did not even occur to me to think that the, the, the giant shellfish-looking mechanoid was a carrier ship for weaponized nanotech that would get used on the Vanguard... But now that's happened, and I honestly don't know if anyone is going to have survived that. As things stand right now, it looks like everyone is probably going to be dead. Every last one of them. And the only way I could see them surviving is if <clears throat> there was some kind of off-screen electromagnetic discharge that got rid of the nanotech while at least some people still survived. Now, if they do manage to do that, I find myself wondering who would have been able to survive that. And honestly, right now, we have no way of knowing. But at the moment, it looks like everyone's dead. 
As for Adrian Chase, or rather the Chaser version of Adrian Chase, he is indeed a copy. The original Adrian Chase was taken by the Union. So he was held for who knows how long, along with his original Holland, which, by the way, I personally liked how that looked a lot better than his current one. I found myself wondering why the current one looks so clunky compared to the original. And then there's what happened with that Holland and the original Chase in the Holland being taken and turned into Nemesis. That's why Nemesis knew exactly when to go for, or rather, what to go for. That's why he ripped off Cammy's head before going straight for her brain box, because he knows what to hit and how, and the only reason why he was stopped was because other people were there to help out at that point. Anyone taking on Nemesis one-on-one -on -one who is not Chaser himself, I get the feeling that they are going to just be gone and done with. <clears throat> on a slightly lighter side of things, and I guess we could see this as kind of a silver lining of the whole situation, we got to see some amazing team play with Val and Kazu, where they're doing a literal digital dance inside the Halon mind frame with Kazu's Halon just mimicking the moves so well. And oh my gosh, that was amazing! And then Yasmin's trying to convince Chase that they need to do the same thing or something similar to where they'll be able to have an easier time trying to protect the anvil. And Chase is just like, no, not right now. Leave me to my issues that I'm trying to deal with. And I don't know if that will have ended up causing the situation that led to the anvil falling or if the anvil would have fallen regardless. But I get the feeling that this is going to leave Chase with survivor's guilt. <clears throat> that he is going to feel responsible for the death of everyone there because he didn't have his head in the right space for properly working with his team. And I feel that this will lead to some serious character growth for him that he will, I'm hoping, reflect on what's happened and use this as a painful life lesson and say, I will never let this happen again. And then step up and really grow into his role as a team leader. Because I'm pretty sure that's what they're going for with this series. That Chase, aka Chaser, becomes the team leader for Genlock. And he can't do that if his head isn't in the right... You know, If, if he's not in the right headspace. As for the Omega Protocol with the droid... And Dr. Rufus Weller appearing to be dead. I don't know if we'll get any information on what's going on with that within the next couple of episodes. But I'm kind of hoping we do. I would seriously like to know more about what the Omega Protocol is. And whether or not it has anything to do with Dr. Weller having made a copy of himself that continually updates every time he's close by that unit and only activates when he activates the Omega Protocol to where the copy of himself only comes to the fore when he knows that the main body is going to die. Given that it has been shown <clears throat> that Genlock compatible candidates can have their minds copied, I would really like to know if Dr. Weller was able to do the same thing, either because he could have been a Genlock compatible candidate but was too old to participate in the program himself, or if he found a way to copy his own mind to a smaller brain box, something that could fit inside that mechanized unit that's always around him and helping. And in either case, if that's true, then in some capacity, yes, a part of Dr. Weller might still be around. But if that's not the case, 
And the Omega Protocol is simply just a set of standards for the droid to keep to and operate by. Then we may have just completely lost Dr. Weller with his self-sacrificing act to keep the Union soldiers away from what he calls his kids. And in a way, I can kind of see that because he did create the Holons and people having their first upload to the Holon units was kind of like their second birthday, hence the... Uh, I think holographic balloons and whatever as part of the naming ceremony and everything and the code names they get being their second names for when they're in their holons. I could seriously see that. Unfortunately, everything has gone to crap. Everything has hit the fan and I have no idea what this is going to mean for the Genlock team. Either they're going to manage to somehow find another Vanguard base to hunker down in, or that was truly the last bastion of defense. It is now completely all and solely on this team of five to quote unquote save the world and doing whatever guerrilla tactics to try and help some fledgling resistance slash freedom fighter force in the end, they may have to end up lying low until the Union has completely taken over the continental United States and then have to do guerrilla-style missions in order to weaken the Union's hold in certain key areas in a bid to take the country back, and possibly even the world, if the Union isn't country-specific. Because it seems like it isn't. Same with Vanguard. For the fact that we have different people from different countries all taking part in the Genlock program. So would that mean that America was actually the last bastion of freedom in the entire world? If so, does that mean that the Union will have to completely finish taking over the world before the Genlock team and any of their supporters are ready to properly push back against the Union, regain some ground, and fight to free everyone from the Union's tyranny. So many questions! And I'm probably rambling at this point, even long before this point. I don't know. What I do know is that I am probably have gone on for long enough. I'm going to leave it for here. I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave it here. As always, if you enjoyed watching, please be sure to subscribe for more. Turn on your notifications. If you enjoyed watching, smash that like button. If you have any questions, comments, requests, anything, leave a comment in the comment section down below. And let's get a discussion going about the direction the series is taking and what you think might happen with the series in future. What direction you hope that it might go in. Let's just sit down, talk about this, brainstorm, and see if we can't piece things together while we wait for uh, the next couple of episodes. And then after that, Season 2 to come out. And until next time, this is Tormazimnus signing off. Stay frosty, my friends.